Three Laws of Motion by Isaac Newton The Law of Inertia The Law of Acceleration And the Law of Interaction Sir Isaac Newton An English scientist and mathematician famous for his discovery of the law of gravity also discovered the three laws of motion today these laws are known as newton's laws of motion and describe the motion of all objects we experience in our everyday lives First is the law of inertia. It states that an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. What does this mean? Basically, an object will keep doing what it was doing unless acted on by an unbalanced force. If the object was sitting still, it will remain stationary. If it was moving at a constant velocity, it will keep moving. It takes force to change the motion of an object. Let's have some examples. A soccer ball is sitting at rest. It takes an unbalanced force of a kick to change its state of rest to motion. Two teams are playing tug of war. They are both exerting equal force on the rope in opposite directions. This balanced force results in no change of motion. The tendency of an object at rest is to remain at rest. If you hit the board, the coin will not move with the board, but simply fall down. The tendency of an object in motion is to remain in motion. This is the reason your body moves forward when you suddenly hit the brakes of your car. Newton's first law is also called the law of inertia. Inertia is the tendency of an object to resist changes in its state of rest or state of motion. The first law states that all objects have inertia. The more mass an object has, the more inertia it has, and the harder it is to change its motion. Let's have some examples. A large powerful locomotive have a great deal of inertia, and it takes a large force to change their motion. Once they are moving, it takes a large force to stop them. Sometimes when driving, a bug flies into your windshield. Since the bug is so small, it has very little inertia and exerts a very small force on your car, so small that you don't even feel it. If objects in motion tend to stay in motion, why don't moving objects keep moving forever? Things don't keep moving forever, because there's almost always an unbalanced force acting upon it.
a book sliding across a table slows down, and stops, because of the force of friction. If you throw a ball upwards, it will eventually slow down, and fall because of the force of gravity. In outer space, away from gravity, and any sources of friction, a rocket ship launched with a certain speed, and direction, would keep going in that same direction, and at that same speed forever. Law of Acceleration This law states that force, equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration, is a measurement of how quickly an object is changing speed. F equals ma, basically means that the force of an object comes from its mass and its acceleration. For example, something very massive, high mass, that's changing speed very slowly, low acceleration, like a glacier, can still have great force. And also, something very small, which means it has low mass, that's changing speed very quickly, that is it has high acceleration, like a bullet, can still have a great force. It also means that a very massive truck would be hard to move unless a large force is applied and moving a larger mass needs larger force and objects with smaller mass needs only a small force to move. Newton's third law of motion The law of interaction It states that, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law of motion, the law of interaction, says that for every force acting on an object, there is an equal force, acting in the opposite direction. Let's look at this illustration. Here are a stack of books, placed on the table. The force of gravity, is pulling down the books, but Newton's third law says, the table is pushing up against the books, with equal force. This is why the books are not moving. There is a balanced force acting on the books, gravity pulling down, the table pushing up. When you push on the wall, the wall pushes back with the same amount of force. During the launch of a rocket, as the exhaust flow pushes backward, the rocket is pushed forward. Here is a great illustration. As a swimmer moves his hand backwards, he exerts a force on the water. The water in turn exerts the same amount of force, which results to the swimmer moving forward. Newton's Three Laws of Motion Law of Inertia Law of Acceleration and Law of Interaction 